Hey, when you, when you see uh, a guy like Zari score that big goal, what do you think? Like, obviously, you're very happy for him, but what goes mm -hmm. through your mind? Uh, the one in Tampa there? Is that yeah, the, one the, about? the insurance. Uh, yeah, I mean, of course. Uh, you know, I was kind of harping on him all night to, to move the puck up the up the ice, and you know, I'm glad he took my advice. And you know, he's uh, <laughs> probably should. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, he's uh, you know, he's a crafty player. He's he's gonna find uh, you know ways to get those opportunities, and it's nice to see it going for him. Do you feel like your individual game has has evolved and progressed throughout the year, or does it feel like you're doing the same things now that you mm. were in October too? Feels like I'm doing the exact same thing. You know, I try to uh, approach each game the same, really. Um, you know, regardless, try to you know rise to the occasion and rise to the challenge every single game, and you know that's that's definitely uh, you know a chore in itself and, and not easy to do. But uh, yeah, I felt feel like I'm having you know feel great this year and. I just want to continue to, to, to try to get better, but you know you have certain foundational things you always you know go to, and you know I uh, it's nice to have some success lately. This is kind of what you were talking about in October. You're like, yeah, it's going to come, it's going to come, and and now it is mm -hmm. starting to go for you. Yeah, I mean that's uh, I've seen that you know a lot of times throughout my career. Just sometimes you feel like you're doing the right things, and uh, you know just not not getting the results for it. You know based on production and being on the score sheet and you know sometimes that can get frustrating because you want to be there for your team producing and um, you know but you know I think you know, have to maintain a level of patience and uh, you know understand the process and that's uh, that's what I'm used to doing. Earlier in your career might you have gotten a little bit frustrated when things weren't going your way like is this mm -hmm. sort of a newer mindset for you or have you always been this way? Uh, no, used to be very impatient and uh, it's, it certainly gets really frustrating uh, but you know as time goes on you understand that you know once you're in a bit of a hole, you, you can't continue to dig that hole. You know you got to find a, some sort of way out of it. Um, you know, and there's certain um, things you can do throughout the course of the game uh, to maybe you know buy yourself a lucky bounce here and there, and, and then all of a sudden you're off to the races. So uh, yeah, I mean it's something you learn. I think patience uh, and experience plays a big role in that. So was it like a just just that experience, or how else did you maybe uh, adopt that new mindset? Um. Yeah, I mean, I just just learning. I think throughout the course of playing so many games and uh, some important games, just understanding that uh, you know it's not going to go your way. You know, it's inevitable for, for things to 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 not go your way. That's that's just a, a certainty in this sport. So you got to find ways to fight that adversity and, and battle back, and that's uh, that's the key. Yeah, you you block your fair share of shots over the years, but when you see. A defenseman go through like all your defensemen the other day 28 blocks yep. you glad you're not a defenseman <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i don't know so sometimes i wish i was sometimes i wish i wasn't but uh you know certainly in those type of scenarios i mean uh you know obviously marky's a brick wall back there and we got some great goaltenders but you know the defensemen still take initiative to uh uh to sell out and uh you know make those key blocks because you never know one, one of those could uh you know be a seeing eye shot and end up in the back of the net and, and change the whole momentum of the, the momentum of the game so things like that as players we acknowledge and we uh you know we feed off it hey, we we think that when we see you like last game you were barking at uh, Makala or Mikula or whatever mm -hmm. you had a good battle with him and you're barking at him as you go to the bench or maybe you're yelling at the ref i don't know but we saw emotion we always think Oh, that's when Naz is really mm -hmm. into the games. Do we, is that a fair assessment? Or, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think so. I mean, sometimes I obviously like to spice things up a little bit and, you know, uh, show that emotion. And that's, you know, that, that can be strategic too. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, you could try to get under the uh, opposing team's skin. And, you know, but at the end of the day, you got to. Um, you know, have that uh, coolness and calmness to, to not go over the line. And, uh, you know, I don't mind a little uh, little chirping out there. So, um, yeah, I'm, I always encourage it. What, uh, so what was that chat you and Matthew uh, there? <laughs> yeah, just talking about the holidays and, uh, <laughs> you know, what he was doing for Christmas and just wished him all the best.